In this video, we are going to cover how to wire up and program your Invita thermostat to support a heat pump and backup furnace system. Connecting the touchscreen display to the HVAC interface module is easy and only requires two wires. Simply connect the two wires from the display module to the two and TSTAT terminals on the left hand side of the HVAC interface module. The order of the wires doesn't matter since they are not polarity sensitive. The HVAC interface module can then be wired to the heat pump and backup furnace. For the thermostat to work, you'll need RNC wires, 24 volt AC with 6 watts available, W wire for the furnace heat call, G wire for the fan blower call, Y wire for the heat pump compressor call, OB wire for the heat pump's reversing call. The internal jumper pins are for convenience and should be in the on or off position based on power needs. If the heat pump and furnace are on different power circuits, then the appropriate jumpers should be set to off to prevent power mixing. Please refer to the installation manual for more details. Next, go to the Invita's touchscreen to set up the thermostat. To change the access level from user to installer, you will need to access the toolbox menu. Select the gear icon to access the settings. Select the setup menu. Select the relay menu. Now, you will need to tell the thermostat what equipment it is operating. Conventional system or heat pump system. Ensure the heating type is set to heat pump. Next, select Equipment Staging Type. For this setup, choose one heat pump, one aux. Since this is a heat pump with furnace application, ensure radiant floor heating is set to no. Note that the heating cooling differentials and delays can be changed here to match personal comfort and preference. This determines when your thermostat turns the equipment on or off. For example, if your room temperature is set to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the differential is 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, the furnace will turn on when the temperature drops to 68.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. The cooling differential works the same way but in reverse. If your room is set to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the differential is 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit, the air conditioning will turn on when the temperature rises to 71.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. The next important setting is the dual fuel setting. If desired, enable this to allow the heat pump to run but automatically turn off when the backup furnace turns on. Next, consider the heat pump reversing valve setting. This is dependent on your heating pump model. The Invita can be set to either a Type O reversing valve or a Type B reversing valve. This should be set by someone familiar with your heat pump type. Refer to the heat pump manufacturer's manual if needed. Scroll down to find the fan relay setting. It defaults to G only, but should be set to with Y and W1 to ensure proper airflow for your heat pump and furnace. After setting the relays, Consider setting the balance point for your heat pump. This temperature point is set by the heat pump manufacturer and can often be found in the heat pump's specification or manual. Note, to be available, the balance point setting requires an outdoor air temperature reading, either via an external sensor wired to the Invita or through the Wi-Fi's internet connection. This setting will stop the heat pump from running if the outdoor temperature drops below the set point. The thermostat operates the heat pump when the outdoor air temperature is above the balance point setting and switches to the furnace when it's too cold outside. To access the balance point setting, select the gear icon on the main home screen. Select the setup menu. Now select the temp menu. Scroll down to the balance point setting. 
it defaults to off. Change it to on. Then, adjust the temperature to the point where it's more economical to switch from the heat pump to your backup heat source, such as a furnace. The critical programming is now complete. From here, feel free to change temperature targets, set up a schedule, and connect the Wi-Fi and the app. For help connecting your Invita, please see our other Invita connection and Wi-Fi setup videos.